Hi, this is Bart Polson, and I'm going to be going over uh, doing some elementary graphics in StatCrunch for the students in my statistics class. What I'm going to do today is a simple bar chart in StatCrunch. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into the program. And then I'm going to use a data set that we have used a few times before. Uh, because it's a data set that exists on StatCrunch, I'm going to come over here to explore and then where it says explore the stat crunch site I come down here to data now I'm going to need to search for it the one I am looking for is called survey fo8.xls because I've used it before it popped up the first uh, letter that I entered I press search and it brings up this one with the picture of the barber shop, uh, and right here there is another copy of it right here. But I'll use the original one. So I click on that, um, takes a moment to load. Okay, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to do a bar chart for gender. See how many people um, there are in the data set. Actually, there is a total of 76 people. OK, to do a bar chart, the first thing I do is I come over here to Graphics, click on that, and actually StatCrunch calls it a bar plot. I'm going to use it with data because I have a complete data set of one row for each person. If I, I could also do it with summary, um, I could show that in a different situation. But right now, I'm just going to play, pick graphics bar plot with data. And a dialog box will come up that has the variables listed on the left. And I can click uh, the ones that I want. Now, I can click more than one if I hold down the control key. Um, however, I that causes problems with the uh, with the title, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do a select statement, for instance, where age is less than this or height is more than that, and I'm not going to group it by any other variables. However, I am going to click on Next. Now, if I wanted to, I could get something called a relative frequency chart. That's that one. The idea here is that would give me the proportion of people who were male or female, which could be important in certain situations. This one would give the frequencies. The bars look exactly the same. The only difference is the numbers that are listed up the side. If I had several categories, for instance, the state that people were from, and there were a bunch of states that had just one or two people, I could have it group them into an other category. There's a lot of analyses where that would be a good idea, where, for instance, if there's less than 10% of people in any one category, then we should lump them together. This can change the order of the bars. I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit next again. Okay, something that you should always do is put descriptive labels and titles on the charts. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a title for the top. I'm going to gender of 76 participants in uh, student survey on stat crunch. Okay. Actually, I don't think I need the 76 part, so I'm going to come back and delete that. All right. I think I can leave the rest of it the way that it is. Uh, the graph layout I would use if I were to have more than one bar chart or more than one box plot or something. I want them to be on the same page. I'd usually put more than one row so they could be stacked above each other. I'm not going to deal with that here. So I click Create Graph to make the chart. All right, there's my resulting chart. It has two bars here, one for women and another one for men. And this is the frequency up the side. You can tell there's about 54, 55 women, and there are exactly 20 men. And I have the title right here across the top. Now, there is one thing. 
and that is down here I have a label for the axis across the bottom. It says gender right there and female and male right here. Now truthfully I think that's redundant because I say gender up here in the top and because everybody knows that male and female refers to gender. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one down here. The way to do that, at least the way that I know of, is I come up to options and I edit the chart and I'm going to back up a little bit. This is the same set of dialog boxes I had at first. Now I'm going to come up here to the x-axis label because that's the one across the bottom. Now I think perhaps the only way to get rid of this is I have to replace the text but if I just replace it with one space. So I just hit the space bar once. It's a blank. I press create graph and it goes away. That makes a slightly cleaner chart and I think it works better that way. Um, what I need to do now is I need to come up here to options and I need to export it to save the chart. So I'm going to export to my results and I will give it a title here. I'll say bar plot of gender and I'll hit export and there it is right over there and we'll talk a little bit later about how to export that into a word processing document or a presentation. But that will do it for now.